Governor, we have co-inflation in the Eurozone just refusing to ease. How concerned are you about that? No, the refusing to ease is a difficult uh, statement. <laughs> uh, it, it was supposed to continue to increase because it increases following with lags the increase in energy prices. The issue is whether it will go down as energy prices are down. That is the big question. Since we are mostly considering uh, second round effects, this is the issue. The first component of second round effect is the wage catching up with increasing inflation. But then if, if the sources of the increasing inflation uh, recede, then uh, really we should we expect we should expect that prices follow mm. non-energy prices. If they don't, then this calls for monetary policy being very attentive. Talking about monetary policy, of course, we've seen rate rises of about 300 basis points, expectations of 50 to come in March. How much more room is there for rates well, to rise again? Yeah, in March is not an expectation, is our indication. We use that word exactly for that. Uh, it is data dependent. So in this sense, uh, we have to really be cautious uh, before we say anything. And this is why we basically state the decisions are going to be taken meeting by meeting. Uh, we gave an indication for this second meeting because of what you observed. We have to be sure that core inflation is not remaining at this high level. Um, there are a number of reasons why it is there. One of them, which I mentioned, had to do with the lags with which prices of manufactured goods and services follow the increase in energy prices. But also there is a demand issue, the labor markets, which are very heterogeneous uh, across the, the area. But in some uh, important uh, state, uh, countries, they really are pretty tight. And so this may induce uh, wage increases beyond what is compatible with uh, a long medium term 2% inflation rate, which is our target. So this is why we are having, observing these, uh, these with a lot of care. And, but I'm not worried. The perennial question is where is peak rate? Markets indicating perhaps four, some suggesting 3.7, 3.8 even. What would you be comfortable with? I'm, as I said many times, that uh, I don't think that we can uh, indicate now what the terminal rate is. Mm. Not even uh, if it will be uh, 3.5, 3.25, 3.75, because really it is data dependent. This said, I believe that um, so far we have don't have to worry. We were in negative, uh, uh, in a negative region as, as far as real rates were concerned. If you look now at uh, a year ahead or five years ahead, real rates, we are around zero. There is nothing to be worried with real rates around zero. Uh, especially because they, within all the estimates that we have, this is e exactly in the area where it should be. Uh, the problem is uh, we should not consider a normal rate uh, as our objective. Our objective is to m go back to an inflation rate of 2% in the medium term. Mm -hmm. If we need to be more restrictive, we'll be more restrictive. What I'm uh, pointing out is that I don't think that we should be excessively worried and worrying the markets and worrying the, the, the economy at large being as tough as uh, having a very tough phase. I think we have to be very realistic. So if it will be needed, we are there and we will move interest rates where they are. Significantly is a, 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 say a noun which has or which is a term which has a, a number of meanings. Uh, my meaning is determined in this sense, not large. 